Alrighty, everybody, let's get a game in and see how it goes today. So I'm playing these uh, 10 plus zero games. They're not the greatest for like educational purposes because they, they go really fast and there's no increment. Um, if you're doing a learning, like if you're trying to learn and get better, then playing something a little bit slower, at, at minimum like a 15 plus 15. So you have... Hmm? Give me just a second, let me think. If he pushes down, then... Then what? Then we just pop up here. Anyway, so if you're if you're playing games to learn and get better, I recommend or I've I've been rec it's been recommended to me to play longer time formats. 15 plus 15, a 30 plus 10, something like that, where the first number is how many minutes total you have, and the second one is how much time is added back to your clock um, as what's called an increment. So I'm expecting a trade here. Let's go ahead and pre-move that. We have a closed position now. Notice these guys are all blocked off. And there's no capturing happening, right? There's no, none of that. There's still a little tension here. But we do have a little bit covered. Now in this case, let me do some quick calculations. There to there to there. So yeah, I think I am going to, I'm not going to go for the D2 knight. I'm going to go up here so that way I don't have to interfere. All right. Um, From here... Couple options come to mind. Oops. I could leave the knight as is. I don't have to do anything with the knight right now. I could leave it as is and let's just do a standard developing move. Okay. But I'm thinking about this. It messes up my opponents if my opponent captures back. So it is a sacrifice. I'm giving up this knight for one pawn. But uh, I'm I'm screwing up my opponent's ability to castle king castle at all because the king has moved. Notice it comes with a fork here and here, so my opponent has to, pretty much has to capture it. I, mean, I guess they don't have to. That's not really check, so they could just move the queen up. But I could steal a rook. All right, so now that he's stacked up here... Because if I don't... Now if I let them capture, capture, capture back, he's got a pawn. So either sacrifice or an even trade. Sacrifice or even trade? Sacrifice or even trade? What do I get out of the sacrifice? My opponent's kingside messed up. And I don't have time to... You know, I wonder if I had done that last move. If I had slid the knight up here, what that would look like. My previous move here instead. I had gone here instead of moving my knight. Dangerous, probably just a push like that. Yeah. All right, so let's just um, let's do the safe move and let's just capture normal. So it's an even trade, and now we can continue developing. Uh, we'll just go like this. I guess now would have been a good time to try the fianchetto structure, because um, there's nothing really attacking this knight just yet. If I let my opponent capture, and I capture back with the pawn, then this can push down, but I've got it covered, so I'm okay. Again, I have zero increments, so when I do a pre-move like this, it just 
Um, it doesn't really, well, it helps me, but um, if you have an increment, you get all that time back to your clock. Anytime um, you make any move, you get the time back to your clock. A pre move like this, I say, I use the phrase to try to get some time back, but really it's just not to lose any time. This is, the only reason I'm pre-moving it is because if my opponent captures here, I have no idea what my opponent's doing anymore. I'm completely out of the loop. So, um... I'm just gonna castle. A lot of pawn moves in front of my opponent's king. Uh, I would love to be able to exploit that somehow. So this defends here, puts an extra defender here, attacks this pawn, and attacks this um, uh, bishop at the same time. Uh, I think I'm safe to do that move. No, don't pre-move anything. I don't, don't accidentally pre-move when you don't intend to. That's for sure, because pre-move has no confirmation, it just happens. So if my opponent were to capture here, right, he's got two attackers, I've got two defenders now. It would be an even trade. But if he were to capture here, I'm just taking the bishop. So actually, I am not going to take the bishop because I forgot that he has this attack. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it. What the hell? He's going to capture here. And then I'm going to capture here with check. If my opponent blocks with the queen, I'm taking the rook. He should block with the knight. That was probably the best choice. And now I can grab here. And I end up a pawn. And I have an attack along this diagonal. Is that undefended? Yes, it is. I'm wondering now if it's time to start pushing this F pawn, uh, break open this mess, and get my bishop to this diagonal. That would make me feel good. So now we're up a whole piece. A whole, a whole piece is good, right? Like being up a whole piece. Uh, okay, asking for a queen trade. I kind of do. Um, I'm feeling it right now. We're up a piece. Take the queen trade. So if my opponent were to capture here, I want to make sure I've got some um, options. Definitely need to start a, uh, um, get a whole, get my back rank issue fixed, fixed up. I do have three pawns on the queen side, three past pawns, almost past pawns. This one's got to get past first. But I got, almost got three past pawns, which would be connected past pawns, and all I have to do is eliminate one pawn. So one of these three is getting through which is really, really exciting. My opponent has these two in the middle, uh, which are a bit a pain in my you-know-what. And there's... Okay. So I'm, un, I'm disconnecting my past pawn that I've just been bragging about because notice he's only got one defender now. And now I have a protected past pawn. And I'm just going to push it one more time just to really solidify the fact that he can't stop it. Um, my, here we go. Uh, I say I would really like to double up somehow. I did, did, I did just cut off my uh, rook 
from capturing here. That would have been nice. I should have done that first. I should have captured here first. Yeah, I should have captured here first in order to... Um, it would eliminate this. Yeah, and then we just double up here. So now we're all defended. If this rook moves, I get this pawn, and then my two connected become passed pawns. So I'm feeling okay right now, as long as I don't screw it up. Yeah, I'm mad at myself for not grabbing this. Okay, so that's safe to do that. Because this bishop had nothing to do with defending this pawn, but now it's going to come back here and help defend there. I have back rank issues, so that's a thing. Um, all right, is there any way to... Is there any way to... Oh, yeah, I could do this. So I'm going to drop a piece as well, but... Make sure I take care of my back rank issues. Now I'm going to capture here. Uh, let me just... I just want to make sure that there's no issue here with my opponent. Ah, he can grab here. What? That's not what I wanted to do, Joe. Ugh, that's exactly what I didn't want to do. My goodness, man, that's... Ah, frustrating, 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 frustrating. Well, the good news is the only thing defending this rook is this knight, and I can slide over here. Put some pressure on it this way. Um, this bishop, I think, is going to sit here on the e7 um, to cut off my opponent's king and defend the queening square. So the king cannot move. There's checkmate. I gotta be real careful of this non nonsense. I got sloppy here at the end because I don't know all this nonsense and I was just trying to force this. Um, so that's checkmate. All right, let's take a quick anal an analysis of this game. Um, it it kind of went a little funky. I'm not actually... Let's see if this has an opening name. The Albin Counter Gambit. And the most common move by a significant margin is to go ahead and capture here. Because now if you capture, the queen trade means you can no longer castle. All right. All right, but either way, let's see how the game went. I developed um, not the most common move by one, two, three, four, the fifth most common move, third engine line, standard developing move. Yeah, we knew that this, this could happen. Right, why didn't I just capture here with the knight? Eh, I don't know. Yeah, that was kind of kind of dumb. This would come with me. Well, but no, but this is um, defended by the queen. Uh, 
And this is where... Okay, so we translate it into the Chigorin defense. Get rid of that opening score now, because we're off book. Oh, right. I was like, so this queen move, I, I didn't understand. I, I, I saw it and immediately dismissed it because, yes, it puts two attackers on this knight, and there's only one defender of the knight. Oops, one defender of the knight. Um, but what I didn't take into consideration was the fact that, also, look, there's two attackers on my knight, and I only have one defender. But by doing this, this pins the knight thus eliminating one of the attackers. So it's not really a concern anymore. So my opponent would just simply, I think, defend this way, capture with my queen under attack. Yeah, I don't know. I figured this was the straight, most straightforward, simplest way. Yeah, so leaving the tension on the board seems to favor black in this case, whereas... Um, Cleaning it all up seems to favor white. Guess I should have done that earlier. Now this is where it becomes a white advantage. Queen a4, and that's what we did. Queen a4. And yeah. Um, so I was debating on capturing here first with check. But I didn't want to end up in a situation where I couldn't get the piece back. So I just kept, took the piece. My opponent took a piece. I get a pawn. Wait, am I down material? Hang on, let me let me let me, let me do this math again. So pawn. Oh right, 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 right. I'm sorry. They started off by capturing a pawn. So pawn, piece, piece, pawn. So he captures a pawn. Then we trade pieces. Then I capture pawn. So we're even. He defends. I grab a pawn. I'm up a whole pawn, and then. I grab a piece. Oh, and it looks like, duh, Joe, I could have captured that piece earlier. Because the king can't defend from there, dummy. Yeah, being up a whole piece, I figured queen trade is the best way to go. And the engine, not much of a difference between the two. But wow, it really says I have an eight-point advantage at this point in time. Yeah, and here I really should have just snagged this guy. Yep, yep, the engine agrees. Bishop captures. Uh, I guess it's not the net main line. I, I, ended up, I ended up picking up the main line, so there's that. And my opponent came down. Right here, if I had captured here... The engine doesn't care about that, huh? I was thinking capture here. I lose the pawn... Oh, I don't, because I, I, I pick up the rook at the end of that. I don't lose a pawn, because the pawn still defended only once. But this, this blocking off my bishop just felt bad, man. Just felt bad. Whereas if I had taken here, my opponent captured back, and then I'd, brought, then I'd gone up for the rook, so now I'm threatening here if my opponent comes up with some shenanigans. Right? Oh, not that. Surely I didn't miss that, did I? Over the board, completely, did not at all, did not at all see this, not at all. Ha <laughs> ha! Man, I am so <laughs> bad at this game sometimes, y'all. I just, I get so uh, uh, tunnel vision, you know? I just, I just see one thing. Yeah, he's got two attackers, but what's the best way to eliminate one attacker? Just eliminate the whole attacker. Even then, I'd be happy to trade a rook for a bishop. You, I mean, for a pawn. I'm so stupid sometimes. I cannot believe I missed that. Yeah, this was a trade that I'm not happy. I mean, I wasn't planning on it. It just happened. So we'll take it as it, you know, as it comes. But it was not what I was planning on.
And then from here, from here is where I screwed up. I should have grabbed. I should have grabbed the knight. I should have just traded off the knight right away. It's twice. It's twice now. I'm pissed at myself for not grabbing that knight. But I just. Mm, Yeah, I, I'm pissed. I should not have. I, I don't know what I was worried about. I don't have back rank issues. I mean, my rook is sitting down here just fine, and there's only one rook left. There's no other rooks, right? I took care of the other rook. Yeah, this was dumb. This was dumb. I was, for some reason, I was, I was thinking, yeah, this, this doesn't do anything, right? My opponent captures here in a big whoop. Who cares? He captures here. Doesn't do anything for me. And then my brain switched to, hey, you know what? My king could attack that, that rook. That rook is undefended right now. And, and I didn't connect those two thoughts. Those two thoughts, like, they go hand in hand. Moving over here, my opponent's goal is to move here. I'm putting myself directly in check. It's dumb. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Yeah, so my, my, I, what I should have done was at this point in time, I should have just captured this pawn. Because then my opponent could capture here, but gives up a knight. Yeah, this was this was an absolutely stupid series of events. I'm sorry I did it. Yeah, putting my rook on this open file, this was just an excuse to do it because it was going to happen almost any anyway. Uh, my opponent really needed to retreat this rook, but he did make the correct move sequence for him at this point in time because this is pretty powerful. There's not a checkmate sequence here. Thankfully, right? There's not a smothered mate. If if we were shifted one over, right? If this guy was over here and I was had moved into the corner, then yes, that would be a mate, right? Because the knight here would cover these two squares. The rook would be defended by the knight. Can't squeeze out the side. Can't go up because of the rook. That would have been a mate, but. Yeah, at this point in time, it's really just throwing away material. Yeah, and then there's really nothing to do. So this does eliminate the back rank issues, but I probably would just... Well, yeah, I could pick up the... Just push a pawn. What do I mean? What do I care if that happens? Because that comes with check. My opponent moves there. Um, let's see here. Probably. Yeah, probably this to cut my opponent off from coming this side of the, of the board, which means. No, not that I uh, meant to do this. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. It's still the same number of turns. If I had just gone... Um, trying to do this without looking at the arrows. I'm not good at endgame patterns, am I? All right, either way, my opponent um, gave me the mate in one, so I did see that. Um, mostly the reason I put my bishop here was not really to cover this smothered mate, or this um, back rank mate. It was simply to um, prevent my, my opponent's king from walking this way. So if the rooks had gotten traded off, right, let's say my opponent somehow maybe forked me or whatever and forced me to trade off the rooks, which totally normal, and at this point in time, I'd be happy to do that. I just wanted to make sure my opponent's king could not approach my pawn, and so my pawn has free reign to walk over and queen up. So, all right, this was um this was an interesting game, a lot of fun, really enjoyable. I missed a bunch of stuff again. Uh, one day I'll uh, I'll learn to see the whole board instead of just seeing it in chunks, instead of just seeing one little piece at a time. I'll see the whole thing. Ugh. All right, guys. Well, at least I got a good I got I got a game in today. Um. I played a game um, just before this to do like a warm up because my first game of the day is awful and I was making, I, I, I moved my knight directly into the path of someone's rook 
um, with no backup. Just put it out there. Now, thankfully, they missed it. And then I was thankful that they missed it. So instead of defending that night, I saw it. And I was like, oh, I'll just defend it the night. I was like, no, you know what? I've got a better idea. I'm going to counterattack. And so I counterattacked. And instead, I, I pushed a pawn up and right next to my opponent's queen, who just picked up the pawn, and then went back and picked up my knight anyway, because I forgot about the knight, because I was so mad at myself for throwing away a free pawn for no reason, um, that I left my knight sitting there in front of my opponent's rook. Just left it there, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> anyway, guys, this was, um, this was a fun game. So I did my warm-up game, I did my real game, where I tried to focus and play a good game, and... Um, Luckily, we got the win this time instead of a loss. Um, that It's always helpful. Um, still missed some things, still trying to get better, but at least we had some... We, we saw some things, right? We saw some things that we wouldn't normally have, um, and, and we're getting better at seeing these things. But anyway, I guess that's it for that one. I got no more, nothing more to ramble about. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.